and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Long Dark. Um, I fear you have now missed about um, a couple minutes, like, I don't know, f uh, five real-time minutes of me repairing my broken clothes here in this hut. Um, I don't think you will miss that too much. Um, yeah, basically had, here, basically had here a problem while recording, but yeah, nothing happened except that I repaired here some crap. So, and I cooked the bear meat. Um, so let's see. The plan is just to repair all my crap and then uh, leave this area. Sadly, I'm missing one wolf skin to fully repair my wolf skin coat. But uh, now killing a wolf and um, drying or curing the hide will take ages. So. That's just how it is. Um, but I can't fix here this knife and sharpen that. How much is it? 5%. So uh, 5 more times. And one more. And then what's next? Uh, um, oh, the axe is a good idea. Uh, I need to sharpen that one only once to bring it to 99% um, condition. Uh, but I can fix here my revolver. Let's fix them that thing twice, then it's at 100%. That's nice. And yeah, the bow is still well. I mean, I can't fix it, but I don't think I have to craft a new bow right now because this one is still at. Uh, decent percentage. Let's check my rifle. Uh, I hope it's in this chest. There it is. 96%, that's good enough. Okay. Um, clothes. Let's repair there some more. I mean, they are both in all in pretty decent condition right now. Uh, I think I'll fix here what's currently in rust condition. This thing here. And... I don't know if that makes any sense. Yeah, I just fixed that and then the rest is fine. Okay. Now I could also repair one of my rabbit skin things. So let's try that. one is in rust condition. Yeah, nearly the same. Um, this one is 74. So let's try to fix that. That's my last rabbit pelt, so I hope it works. Nice. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm done fixing this. And uh, here this all looking pretty good. Uh, what's with that moose skin satchel also at 99%. I think I then... How much longer do I need? 19 hours. Yeah, I think I can just 
Maybe I can finish that by today and still leave tomorrow. That would be convenient. Uh, let's read for two hours. some more it's dusk, so night can't be far behind. Uh, how much more 12 hours nah I think I'll take it with me then it weighs half a kilogram but I don't really want to spend another entire day here I guess I just go to bed and when I wake up and then I read in this book until the next day and then decide. Oh, electricity is back. some water left here or do I have to cook more uh, there's none oh here are two and a half liters left and that should be enough I guess I won't spend here another uh, 10 hours or so reading in here and it's already in the early morning uh, so I guess I'll just I don't know I'll wait for an hour until there's more light that works okay then it's time to pack and leave this region um, I guess I'll do the usual thing and just pick up anything that might be useful and uh, then sort out all the crap Yes, yes. Always the same story. So that's that. Not sure if I should take... I guess I take the guts with me. They are basically always... I don't know. Not sure about the bear hide. But what I'll do is first refill that lamp. Uh, where is it? Storm, storm. There's the trunk. Yeah, that's something that I actually agree on for a change. Okay, let's start with fire stuff. Um, yeah. 
don't think I need so many matches or this book or three of these. Uh, birch bar can be useful. Let's also put these here. I guess that's good enough. Uh, how much is that regarding fire? Four kilogram. I don't know. I think I'll leave one coal behind. And uh, I don't know, some more of these matches, and that's, I guess, good enough. So, this stuff. Um, these are too heavy. I don't need seven of these, I hope. Um, and the rest of the stuff is quite useful, I think. Clothes, let's leave these behind, and these, and I think I need the... I don't need these, or this. But, uh, oh, I'm not wearing the hoodie. Why did I repair it then? Damn it. I only had it for other reasons in my inventory. I repaired it for no reason. Well, at least it's, it's improved my skill. Then, food. I don't need the uh, tainted water. Um, so, water, I think I just take a liter with me. Uh, other food. I think that I take these uh, crackers with me because um, they make me super thirsty, but I can basically always get water. And I'll take the MREs because they are really useful. And the herbal stuff. Am I hungry right now? I am right now. I guess I should first eat something. Uh, let's eat these. And I don't think I need that much old wolf meat. On higher difficulties, there's always the risk that you get parasites. Um, but here, um, I'm already a cooking master or something. Anyway, I don't have that risk anymore. Uh, so let's put this back and this back, and I guess this here. Then I need only one cooking pot. Uh, oh. I have enough of these, I think. I don't even know whether I can do any of this in the next region, but that stuff is not really hard to come by. I think I leave these here. I probably have enough ammo for one region. Uh, and this. And that's already looking quite good. I'm not at 56. That's actually somewhat usable. Um, how fast can I walk with that? Fast enough? I think I'll stay with that. I think I'm fast enough like this. And, um, yeah. It's not far anyway to the new region. Even though... So the question is, what's the best way? I'm now here and I want to get here. Um, I hope that I can get up there behind that grain silo. So I have 80 shots here. 81 rifle shots. Well, actually 90 because it doesn't count the one that I have already in the rifle. And 12 arrows. That's a pretty decent armament. Yeah, so I hope I can go up there behind the silo so that I can skip the entire city stuff. So over there is a deer or a stack or something. Yeah. 
Yeah. What's that last region called? Hushed River Valley or something? It doesn't sound like as if I find there a lot of infrastructure. Um, one more reason to not... Well, on the one hand that means I should probably bring some tools with me. On the other hand, I probably won't find there... Like, I don't know, do I need this hammer? Where is it? Oh, I don't think I have a hammer with me. Uh, okay. I have... Do I have a saw? Yes. Ah, seems that I already left the hammer behind. I think that's not too bad. Um, because I most likely need it for, like, forging stuff. But, um... I don't really need anything forged, and on top it's probably unlikely to find a forge in that valley. Then again, another view to look at this is of course that people who might be living in that valley are so secluded that they have to take care of everything themselves. And because of that, um, they have a forge. Who knows? I really hope I can get up here. As far as I know, I've never been in the secluded valley before, or a hushed valley, or whatever it is. So that will be interesting to explore. Um, and I don't think, as it's also a uh, like remote region by itself, I think it should be quite decent in size. Not like the ravine or the winding river that are basically just transition zones between two others. Yeah, goodbye farm. Sometimes I think it would be nice to own a farm like that. Like I said earlier this year, I was in Spain with a friend taking, like, house sitting and taking care of some chicken and dogs and whatnot in remote Spain. Um, like in that village, there were maybe a total of like six houses or something. So that was fun and very relaxing. I can really get up here to this church, otherwise I would have wasted quite a lot of time. Hmm. Maybe there? Weather is nice, so that's good. Have I actually ever mapped this region? I don't think so. Maybe I should do that. And I also know better where I am. So that should work. I guess I could either go... Uh, where am I? No, there. Uh, I think I'll go here around to the left. Maybe that latch to the right also works, but it's also just as well possible that then I'm stuck on some uh, a latch and can't get down, and then that's again a longer path.
There's the church peeking out between the trees. So I'm now here. So just get on the street and there yeah, I should also be a uh, quite a bit faster on the street, I hope. Because it's concrete and not deep snow. Maybe I should drop something. Uh, I guess what I could do first is eat something. go to the street so that I'm a bit faster. What time is it? Not even noon. Ah, there it is. Any of those howling wolves inside? Over there is one. The good thing though that I'm currently senseless. <laughs> or rather scentless. So that's decent. That's pretty. All right, concrete. I wanted to use the concrete. was an entire pack of three wolves and I guess the shot startled them. Kind of weird that they ran directly at me. Yeah, I won't pick up those shells now. I think it's quite unlikely that I need like, I don't know, Said I've like I don't know nearly 90 rifle rounds left and about 90 revolver rounds and in case I run out of either I still have the bow. Quite a lot of wolves here though. There's also one behind this rock here, it seems. Just go out of my way, you stupid wolves. Then you have to enter a region for yourself and can munch on all the carcasses of the Milton people. So that wolf is dead. 
And I gave him gave him even a warning shot first. So nearly there. Well not quite. A couple of meters ahead. Over the logs. And then to the left are those container houses. But and behind the next bend should be the cave. So what's the best way to get over here? That. I think I already tried that and it didn't work. What for a beautiful day on Great Bear Island. This would really be something for this, what's the show called? Uh, alone. Except I think for alone they want less infrastructure. I actually like that show. I thought about... But there's not really a way for me to watch it here in Germany. The only alternative would be to pay an addition of, of um, Amazon Prime. Oh, Emma, I think I have to go over here. I think it's there behind that tree. So to pay an addition to Amazon Prime, also money for the History Channel. And I once had there a free week, but what they did was um, they didn't have the original versions of the shows. They had like the English version, but then really cheap voice artists dubbing over that so you could like really the cheapest way like you could hear the original voices and whatever in the background and just somebody speaking louder in German over it and the voice artists who did that were really crappy as well so it's so it's just like oh please <laughs> god let me somehow just watch it in English but that option wasn't there so uh, Screw it, I'm not paying for that atrocity. So, as far as I know, this cave wasn't that long. And it's about noon. So, I guess I have to go through the cave and then look around and see whether I can find shelter. In the worst case, I then have to go back to the cave and stay there overnight. Um, but I'd prefer to find something else. So that's it. Any more bears that try me try to prevent me from leaving? So but I checked it again what I'm playing here is the default difficulty, so there are easier ones and two harder versions. And Basically, in the harder versions, um, there are a couple of small changes. Uh, for example, on this normal difficulty, if you sit right next to fire, you never freeze. Because, um, yeah, the fire just keeps you warm enough, no matter what temperature the fire is and what temperature there is uh, on the outside. If I go, whoops one difficulty higher, then it doesn't work that way anymore. Um, 
Then the game basically checks what temperature does the fire actually have and only if the temperature of the fire is high enough compared to the environmental temperature then um, you are actually warming up so you could stand next to a fire and still freeze and um, you find less stuff in higher difficulties and um, I've also read that in this game the world is getting colder the longer you are in it, in each difficulty, but on the regular and lower difficulty it takes far longer to get permanently super cold, but on the higher difficulties the world is getting colder on at a higher pace, a higher speed. Then I think um, in this regular difficulty you don't get internal parasites from eating cooked meat. Um, only from, I think, uncooked meat you have a risk. But on higher difficulties you can always get parasites. Unless you're like the super um, chef. And then you know how to uh, get rid of those first. Um, and there's more wildlife that, that is more aggressive wildlife like you don't have everywhere thousands of deers because that would obviously make it easier but you have more wolves and bears and maybe also moose I don't know and they are more likely to attack you and notice you from a greater distance and so on so it's many such small difficulties uh, variables that make the game more difficult I think this difficulty is okay for a regular game, like um, you can explore the game and you are rarely in danger, but you can die if you don't pay attention, so I think that's a that's okay. Uh, let's see, let's first have a snack, uh, some of this. And maybe some bear. A hush river valley. So I still have a lot of energy left and it's just noon so despite the name I do hope that I find some place to take shelter even if it's a cave that's further in this region. Like just anything then going back that's really unfun. Am I wrong or do the rocks here look different? Like they have here this grey tone and such. Uh, or brown colors in addition. Yeah, I think these these mountains and stuff look different. Interesting. And here's the first big question. Left or right? The red or the blue pill? I'll go left for no particular reason. Yeah, but they look they look really pretty here these mountains. Faster. If I could just like train a couple of those wolves or ride around on a moose or a bear. Can I actually get down here or is this a trap? Oh, it seems I can. We. Oh, there are some rabbits down there. That's also not too bad. I think I'll go first here to the right. There I can see more. Let's pick up some of that.
what's over here? Maybe our comfy cave? Or something? Hmm. That's the question. There could be something down there next to that... Uh, next to those rabbits. But I think I'll first look over here. I want to get more of a wider impression of this area to try to find something and not explore every nook and cranny while I'm that uh, overburdened. That's also nice. Can I see anything from here? There's a dead deer. Over there are some more uh, cliffs, but no signal tower or something. No street either. No shelter as far as I can see. there. I have to climb there. I hope I can do that with that much weight on my back. Yeah, there seems to be... I c also can't see any cave or anything. There's just just pure wilderness. Ah, nice. So the small things here, I can always climb these no matter how much I carry, only the big climbs are problematic. I wonder if I'm going here in a circle, like I go here, around here, and then I'm necessarily back here. That would have the advantage that I'd know where the other path goes, like where I could have chosen the right path earlier. But I'd also have wasted some time. Anything? Maybe I shouldn't draw that much. Uh, all kinds of lichen and crap. That's not a house over there, right? I mean, it looks... I think I'd have seen that earlier if there'd have been... if there'd be a house. Yeah, it's not a house, it's just uh, cliffs. Hmm. Especially drawing the map always takes a lot of time. That's one of the dangers here. If I draw too often, the day will go by very quickly without actually getting forward. I think that down there is also just a huge rock, maybe? Looks a bit angular though.
Like that thing down there. Yeah, I think it's a huge rock. Let's check out what's here on this side. Oh, did I see there something? Also pretty. Oh, over there is a climbing part, I think. No, I don't see here. There's a bear running around. I mean, maybe up the climbing rope there is some sort of shelter. I can't see here anything. So there's a bear. There are a couple of corpses here. I mean, either they are deer or um, humans. And if they are human corpses, then. Oh, it's getting clearer actually. Yeah, that's just now the cave. Oh, no, no, no! I didn't see that there was here a drop. Oh, in that's inconvenient. Wow, that's some clear um, thing. Right when I'm from the mountain and I don't have the view. And I have now no unobstructed line of sight anymore. Huh. Now I have basically two options on what to do. Either I check out where these birds here are flying around, because if they are flying over. Uh, a uh, human body, then the chance is good that there's some sort of shelter nearby because it's all nearly always in cars or caves or houses or something. But as secluded as this region is, just like here, it might as well be just a deer. And the other option I have is that I try to get to. Right now I seem to be quite in the center of this map, more or less. So if I go to one of the sides, I might be able to more likely find... Um, are there some boards? Uh, if I go to the side... Uh, this doesn't look good. If I go to one of the edges of this map and follow it, then there's a higher chance, I think, of finding a cave. Yeah, sometimes I still wonder whether it's smarter to just drop you tons of stuff, like all gear I don't need, and then run around. But I don't really like the idea of running back and forth. I'd much rather find a shelter first and stay there. Yeah, these are some... Oh, is there a cave? It looks like it. Like with this reddish color of the rocks, they look like as if they contain a lot of iron. Ha! Huh, I was right! There's a body or two human bodies next to that cave. Isn't that convenient? Well, a cave is not as comfy as an actual house, but it's a start. Uh, so I think I'll first get into that cave and then drop off some stuff. 
I still don't know how quickly any of the stuff that I drop despawns and vanishes. What do we have here? Some boots, a vest, Never a rifle. Doesn't have, have any ammo. There's hunting rifle. No. Oh, that's nice. Some feathers in case I want to craft coal is also nice. Yeah, that's all pretty nice here. So I just hope that my staff won't won't instantly vanish when I drop it. So what's super heavy? These. Oh, but then I have to pick up all of them individually. That's so annoying. Let's start with this. This. And uh, the saw, this, this here, maybe this. Why do I have this with me? I didn't want to have that with me. Some of these, and a ton of these. Uh, this here. Oh, I didn't finish sorting out my inventory, I think that's why I still have some crap with me. Well, then that's what it is. I just... I don't know. Yeah, for the sake of speed. I think I should be fast enough now. Let's check out in the other... Corpse here. There's a hatchet, but since mine is at 100%, I don't need that person's hatchet. I could, however, chop here this here apart because I don't have that much wood. And then. I don't know. Maybe I should leave my stuff in the cave the next day and. So what is the so I'm not here. I guess I can look around a little bit further. I could shoot a rabbit or so, but I think I have enough food. I mean at least while the line of sight is as great as now. I just shouldn't get lost. I'd really like to find, even if it's a little cottage, like in the uh, Timberwolf Mountain area. That was actually a nice place. Tiny, but nice. Does the map say anything of interest? No. But the weather is getting worse and it's getting night, so I think I'll get back to my cave. What if there are no houses at all in this region? Only caves. That would be inconvenient. Even if it's just for the sake of um, not having any storage. I mean, I then have to collect um, how many? I think like 50 stones or something. Oh, over there is a rope leading somewhere. Where? I think it comes here from, from the left. I can't see it. Is it down in this ravine or something? Where are you, wolf?
Mettenberg. Damn it, where did I come from again? I am now here. Uh, wait, I'm now at here, right? This here is the... I'm confused. I think I'm lost. Is it over there? Oh, well, there are two flocks of birds there, so that might be the two corpses. I think I'll pack, pack up, uh, pick up some more of this lichen here, or moss, rather. Oh, just lichen. Ah, I can't reach it. Man, you guys didn't even have a fire here. Sun setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. That's why we're making a fire. <laughs> Thousands of rose hips. Oh my. This gear is starting to slow me down. Didn't I have a cooking pot? Did I forget that? Maybe I forgot it on the... Oh, here it is. Nice. Um, I think I just... cook water for now. it outside like huh. ninety night for a snack. I think I leave them. Yeah, the question is now... Hmm. Ah, just one. 
think I'll just make another fire and uh, cook some more water or something or some tea. I think this time I leave stuff here. Uh, in this cave and look around with um, not quite uh, without being burdened quite as, quite as much. Let's sleep for one hour. Okay, let's pick up this. Some more charcoal, nice. And this. And now. maybe here's some salty stale and salty crackers it's the best combination but what I have here near limited water okay I think I'll now leave a lot of stuff here and run around with lighter uh, stuff so I think the MREs will be enough uh, Yeah, even if I have to pick those up, who cares? That's quite annoying, but... I think I just take my rifle with me and leave the bow and revolver behind. So close food weapons. Yeah, I think that's good enough. How cold is it? So let's just, right, let's have a look again in the area. So I'm now here. I came from there. And yeah, I think I'll check out this region maybe. This really isn't, this really is a confusing map so far. So I have now left it and I'm now running, I'm not sure, over here maybe, or over here. Well, as soon, oh here's the little river, so I'm now walking into this direction. Is this here, is there a way through? Yeah, I think so, I want to check that out. 
So first I have to get up here. Well, or uh, not. surprised me and I guess he also was scared. Lucky me. Yeah, I think I'll go on top of this. Now, let's pick up some more mushrooms maybe. What do they help again? Antibiotics. The weather isn't bad, it's quite warm actually, but uh, the visibility is bad. Come on, I just want to get up here. Some more death over here. here so I could now either go down here and explore this part and see if there's maybe a hut next to that lake or something or another cave or I go over here there's a deer I can't see any cottage or anything at all oh that's pretty I can't get a better view. Anything else somewhere? No. Well, then, I mean, I'm not in a huge hurry. The cave I have so far isn't that bad, and um, there's enough food around as well. I could also... Yeah, why not? It makes it more interesting for the wolves, but what can we do? Uh, let's see... Well, let's just check out where this here leads. So down there in this ravine was another wolf. That was a bit too far. Any house visible from here? Do I need a new bow? Uh, no, not for a while. Yeah, maybe that's not a bad idea. Let's go over here and check out this little pond and if uh, there's anything of interest there. Because I guess once I cross that chasm, I won't be on this side for a while. Is there anything down there? Doesn't look like it. Oh, 
is this where I originally came from? I guess so. Oh wait, I think I'm a little bit south of that. Or north, rather. Uh, that doesn't seem to be too much going on here. Hmm. I want to look around this column. There's nothing of interest here. No, oh. not even a fishing hut is that depressing. So, if I'm now here. I don't think I can cross this here, so I think I'd rather go back to the cave where I came from and walk around this chasm the other way. Another wolf. Oh no, it's, it's a couple of deer. A dozen. Ah, so I was earlier walking along that ledge there on top and came down here. Uh oh. No! That's, that's not convenient. What do I have? Uh, nothing serious. Clothes are a little bit torn, but also not terribly so. The wolf is wounded. Gave him a good whack with the axe, so that will die. Damn it. I'd follow it. Oh, there it is. But it always. It will be running around now. I mean, on the other hand, on the other hand, that's like pretty much a dead end there. Uh, who cares? I still have enough food, and in the worst case, I can get some of those deers. Uh, deer. Oh, that one. Still, that was annoying. And let's not forget that there's also a bear running around here. So it's about noon, so a lot of time left. Maybe I should go over there, over that ledge and have there a look around. Not sure if that's worth it. But they don't seem to go bad and don't weigh a lot. 
and don't make me thirsty. I'm curious what's going... Oh, what's this here? There's some fire or something? Where does that come from? I'm curious. Is there anything down here of interest? Just more wilderness. How do I get there? I mean, over there is a uh, over there is a rope leading up. But is there any better way? I think I'll see if I can get around here somewhere. Is this stupid bear in sight? Let's see if I can avoid that climb. So where was I now? Here. Somewhere in my mind the direction I turned a bit. So this mountain face... So this here is east or something? There is it a fire? Who made a fire? It wasn't me. Hope it's not a bug like I don't know, steam from a waterfall going to the wrong direction. Was it a crash maybe? Like another plane that went down there just recently? I th I think I'll see whether I can get around here so I can save. Uh, one climb. I'm a bit wary about the bear that was running around in this area. Also because I'm already a bit wounded from that wolf attack. Another dead person. Doesn't seem that secluded after all. I mean there are no streets or houses or cars. Or just what I need. Oh, actually, I might take that thing here with me. Do we have anything to make? Uh oh, yeah, I have some empty cans with me too, in case I won't make it back to the cave this night. Only one left. Well, that revealed a lot more of the map. Oh, there's a bear. Should I try to shoot it? Uh, I don't think so. Um, maybe if I'd stand on one of these uh, cliffs. So it seems I can save myself one of those climbs. And wherever this here is leading. Some more dead up there. So, the climb up was there, like one of them. Let's see what's up 
here. I think I can use this. Yeah, I think I'll take that. Oh wait, I think it's ruined as it is. Can I harvest it? Uh, can I harvest it? Yeah. That's not bad. I don't know how much... If I, my clothes get torn a couple more times, then... Having some cloth to fix things might be a good idea. So where was this um, smoke thing? Was it up there? Up here? Still no cottage in sight. Huh. I can't see it from here, that's annoying. Maybe from here? But this doesn't seem to be the path up there. I think it was above here, but I can't see it anymore. Or on top of this. Uh, I really hope to find a way here. Maybe through here and then above, and then higher. Maybe through a cave. <laughs> Holy crap! Maybe I should have taken my. What thing is this wolf? Is also dead. Uh, he just... why always the ear wrap? That's so random. Damn it. That's annoying because it's the only item I found I could wear there. God damn it. I guess I have to climb up here. the ear wrap. I assume that each item has like a I hope this works. I assume that each item has like a durability of sorts and the ear wrap as it's such a flimsy garment or whatnot um, has a very low durability, so just by random chance, when everything, when all of my clothes are damaged, percentage-wise, this ear wrap is the one that gets the most damage. Anything up here? No. I guess I have to sleep here a little bit because otherwise, or is, um, can I shoot here a bear from here? That would of course be convenient. But I don't think so. Two hours, maybe? Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Uh, 
That's where you're not, where you don't want to be on in the middle of a cliff during a blizzard. Now, but the temperature is still well enough. I think I'll sleep for another hour and hope that it doesn't get much colder. Oh, it is getting... Uh, it's getting colder. So, time to make a fire, I guess. And then... Sleep next to the fire to have some. Come on. Uh, this lasts now for two hours, so I really don't want to fall down this cliff. I have got a lot of energy left. Oh, that's pretty. Any bear I can snipe from here. I could sleep here for one more hour, but I think I'll try now the ascent. I hope that there's anything of interest up there. What is it? What is it? Is it a cottage? Or is it a dozen bears waiting for me? Wait, it goes even higher? Well, I better look for shelter in some way of shape or form. But where was that smoke coming from? Well, that wolf s seems like that wolf was a little bit confused. Yeah, that was a bit of a... Why does this stupid wolf directly run where I want to go to? Now it stopped running and I have to kill it or the other way around. Where are you? Hey wolf. Wolf. Where did it go? So here I could climb over there and then... I don't see any smoke up here though. Is there any? I think I first check out where this thing here to my left leads. Yeah, maybe I should have taken the revolver instead. At least there I can shoot multiple times easily. When a wolf, when I miss one shot at the wolf, I hope that at the end of this uh, ravine is that smoke source that I saw. A cave? No. Just a, another mountain uh, rock face or something.
I hear this buzzing of electricity, but I think it... Oh, there's, there's smoke. Ugh, I don't want to risk jumping that. I guess I need a hatchet here. 18 minutes, midnight. Um, what is it? Hacking at uh, bushes. Oh, that doesn't look like a house. But what is it then? A crash site? A fire that never goes out? A bug? Oh, it's just a burning tree. Really? Oh, come on. Oh, no, it's not a burning tree. I still have... What is it then? A geyser? Hot springs? A signal fire? Why? I hoped it was a hut or something. Uh, I'm disappointed. I can't even do anything here. Can't destroy it, can't hack it apart. Does it warm me? No. Oh yes, it does warm me. Well, that's at least something. What's here? Oh, a moosehead satchel. Can I wear two of those? No, only one. That's a shame. I'll take the firewood though. But that's depressing. Oh, what do we have here? And a snow shelter. Hmm. I think I'll sleep here next to the... Could attach here a rope, but... Um, not sure why I would do that. Um, yes, let's have a drink. Uh oh. Uh, that's inconvenient. I thought this would keep me warm enough. So cold. Just want to lay down for a bit. Is this still edible? Stupid signal fire. I think I'll cook one more. Is 
that warm enough? Prepare. Ah, screw it. Can I sleep in here? Oh, it is basically already morning. Well, I think I'll make a break here and continue next time. What for a strange map? I guess next I'll somehow go around here, shoot that bear, uh, explore what's going on here, clamp maybe up, and then... Uh, where did I originally came from? Oh, here. So I'm now right here. Yeah, so I'll go probably over here, explore this area, maybe shoot that bear, go back to my home cave, fix some stuff, and then I'll probably first check this out and then climb down here and explore that. That sounds like a plan. Um, thanks for watching as always and until next time.